Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. Got another game of Heroes of the Storm for you. This time I'm going to play as a brawler. Um, we've got Marden, who's a melee warrior. I played with a ranged assassin last time, and to be completely honest with you, I like the ranged assassin better, a whole lot better, but I figured to get a good view of the game, I gotta play with all the different kinds of characters, so this time I'm going melee. Now I've got a little experience with this guy so far. He is an amazing jungler. He can kill uh, mercenary camps like nobody's business. If there's the two large enemies, the siege enemies, at Basically, after one or two of the level ups, he can take on those two by himself no problem and lose less than half of his health. And then once he gets fully vetted up, I guess would be one way to describe it, once he gets a bunch of levels on him, he can take on the groups of four or five that come up other places as well. So you can free mercenaries. You can get a whole bunch of mercenaries in your lane, and then he is brutal as far as assassinations go. If you can get up close and personal with someone, stun them and keep them down. But hopefully I won't fail too hard on this. I've had some bad luck with this type just because it kind of goes against the way I normally play. Also, some of his upgrades are really strange. I haven't really had a problem with mana management, so I'm not going to go for the refund mana. Um, we've got reduce incoming attack. We've got increased damage permanently if it hits a hero, which is really nice. And then Thunderclap reduces enemy attack speed, which basically helps you defeat groups of enemies, which I'm going to go for. Because I'm going to go for lane domination this time around. Not sure what's going to go here. We've got two melee players in the same lane. Might be better to have others, but whatever. I'm going to go to the grass here. So we've got a single range in there. And then we've got range and I have no idea what he is. We will find out for sure. Dismount here. See if we can get a good view of what's coming through the gate before I actually have to shed health over it. Let's see, and this one we're going for Garden Terror. So when the night comes, ah, oh, we got range. Freaking A. That's okay, I'll stun you. Slow you down. And then... Ah, shedding too much health! Ah, okay. That was a bad plan. I was going for the early kill, but nope, it was not meant to be. At least I've got the awesome heal ability. She does super, super well. Got a few minions. Oh, nope. Need to get away. Get away. Get away. I do not have enough health to engage this. Oh, yes. I should have gone for increased damage while attacking heroes because I've landed some really good hits on him so far. When the nighttime falls, there's plants that come up here. And if you can kill the plants off, they're basically little mercenary groups, and uh, gather the seeds, you get your very own Garden Terror. It's like the advanced version of Plants vs. Zombies, and I accidentally used that. Let's go gather some. Gotta get them seeds. Jump right into the middle of everything. It's like the little flower people. Like I said, this guy is an awesome, awesome camp takedown guy jungler whatever you call it you can tell how much I play this type of game still getting used to all of the different terminology not sure what this guy's doing or why I'm following him aha got a camp can I take them on yet I'm gonna go for it <clears throat> See if I can knock these guys out. I almost died. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Crap. There we go. The dawn has come, heroes, and with it, my children must rest. Gotta get them seeds. Alright, we're good. 
How quickly do these guys health regen? Ah, they're already back at full. Screw you guys. I'm not going for that again. I also think that I got the wrong upgrade in the mess of that. <clears throat> Successive attacks stun a target. Ah, crap. I meant to go for that one. So much damage laid down by that group hit. It's quite ridiculous. <laughs> I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Oh crap, I stunned a minion and not him. Run away! I'm gonna take a sip here. That time I hit him. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Regen, that's what I need. I may choose more wisely this time. Um, let's do that hammer can stun or hit up to two targets at once more melee damage I'm gonna regen my mana here honestly I wish I would have casted the last game that I played it was my warm-up game so I'm like you know what I'm not gonna cast this because more than likely I'm gonna die horribly and it was actually an epic game I kinda, I'm very sad that I didn't record it because it would have been amazing. I had a kill at like uh, f uh, 45 seconds into the game. Basically ran right down to the first hidey hole and then stacked a stun, some damage, and an ability up on the first guy that I saw and killed him straight off the bat. It's hilarious. But alas, it was not meant to be a second time. All right, let's get out of here. Wait for some more minions. Back in the brew. Brawl, not brew. All right, I gotta start getting some of these plants here. Night is coming. Where you at, plants? I dare you to poke your slimy little heads up. Where is it? Oops, wrong button. There it is. All right, we got ours. Ah, I missed. No. The terror awaits. Choose a card. Take its power. I almost killed him. Not quite though. So sad. All right, I'm gonna get the avatar ability, which is amazing. You basically get loads and loads and loads. Oh crap! I wasted that. He had less health than I thought he had. This guy, it gives you an extra thousand health and some, uh, let's see here. Your mobility goes down. You move slower, which makes me sad. But for 20 seconds, you gain 1,280 health and all of your basic attacks stun enemies, which is amazing. All right, I need to go north. I need to assist the terror. Let me mount up, make that tripper a little quicker. The terror is frightening. Like, he grows this plant thing here that just grows over everything and disables guns, and then he can also turn enemy heroes into plants, which is ridiculous.
Oh, I forgot. I don't have that ability yet. I'm waiting for the, abil the ability to come through that makes this guy basically a siege weapon, where when he throws his hammer, it robs the enemy of ammunition, and it also stun him and kill! Let's see, deal damage to nearby enemies. I love this one too. Basically, anything you stand next to takes damage. Burning Rage is the ability. I keep pressing the wrong freaking button on that one. Oh, don't, don't. Get away, get away, get away, get away. I don't know what that thing is. I still haven't figured that out. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah! <laughs> oh, but now I'm dead. Get away. Alright, I think I'm going to take the heal. Because I'm fairly low on mana. And then I'm going to go back in the south lane. And grind some. Try to take down another one of these forts. Or I may... Let me do a siege camp. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Crap, crap, crap. There we go. Now I got him. As I was saying, this guy is a freaking epic jungler. <laughs> uh, now all these guys are going to be mine for the taking. Come with me and defeat this lane. Let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and grab the bruisers too. I believe that's what they're called. Well, no. Yeah. Let me get these. If I get seven seeds, our guy will grow again. All right, and grab these guys. That slow attack is a super strong ability. These guys are epic. If I can get this guy down and capture these and then come in from the back side, I think we'll be good. Alright, let's see. Let's increase range and impact radius. Nice. Building my army of minions here. Pulling up to the gates. The more minions you can accumulate, the bigger a wave of death you can make. Well, I'm down to just the siege guys, but thankfully. They do actually outrange the towers, so they'll be able to do a bunch of damage. Back up here. Bye bye. You dead, bro. <laughs> Successful 2v1. That's how we do it. 
And I do realize that I'm playing against relatively pitiful people here, because I'm still in the bottom leagues, but you know, that's still a really good feeling when you're able to do that. I'm finally getting the hang of where um, my abilities, the hotkeys, are getting to be innate knowledge, and we win. Why am I killing this? This is totally pointless. <laughs> GG indeed. That is going to wrap that one up. Massive stompage. I'm going to take a look at the uh, statistics screen just to see how that was. Let's see. On our stats page, I got the... I was third out of five, which is not terrible. No deaths, five kills which is all right. I, like I said, I do not do very well with the brawler. It is not my forte. I much prefer the assassin class. So I think I'm going to take another turn with that in the next round. Alrighty guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. That is it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you will join me for the next video in this. I'm really enjoying this game. And again, anybody who has this game or you'd be interested in playing it. I have four beta keys up for grabs, but I really want to stress, I don't want to give people a beta key. They're going to play like two games and then abandon it because I actually want people to play with who are going to come on and play and have a good time. So if you really want one, talk to me and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to promise anybody one, but I do have some available. If you just don't have the funds and you don't have a beta key, let me know. I want some people to play with. All right, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.